What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we got a Patreon tutorial for you today. Tane Taylor, I think I'm saying your name right. Uh, we've got a Tane Turner, sorry. <laughs> Not Taylor, Turner. So Koichi Pose. So it's that, you know that, um, from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, that meme, Koichi walking into battle. So we've got, um, it's, it's a full body one. So there's a couple of things to, couple of things to keep in mind so you know head arms torso legs so the head is real small so it's up right up here so we have the top of his head here so I'm just gonna mark and the bottom of his head right here okay and it's like the bottom of his feet is all the way down here and about the halfway point on our page is where his waist will be so like his hips where his where his leg will start right so it's just here so his leg is going to go come off down this way so it's like this and that's like the middle point of his body <clears throat> okay so that's about halfway down the page I can measure it so it's yeah 21 21 centimeters and then down to his feet is 21 centimeters. So I'm on an A3 page. Just if you're thinking about proportions, from the top of his head to the waist section is 21 centimeters, and then from there is 21 centimeters down to his feet down there. And his head measures 11. So that's the proportions you're looking for, okay? So we will start with his head and I'll do the shape for the head first, just cause we're dealing with a full body. So we're gonna do, so from his chin, we'll do his jawline up to here. And I know it's difficult to do a full body. It's very tricky, but we'll give it our best shot. So that's like the shape for his, his face just here, okay? Then in here now we can do the eyes. So down the middle of this, that's the center line, and we come over and do his right eyelid just here. Cover it around, and you can add some eyelashes if you wanted, just there. And then his pupil and iris, so we do a circle just there with a dot inside and a shine just there and he's a bottom eyelid line just there like that ba -ba. right so his next eye so we have so we're about eye distance over so if you measure his eye come over eye distance, that's where the next eyelid line is gonna start. So just maybe a bit more than eye distance, actually they're pretty, they look like they're pretty far apart. So just here, and we curve it around. Now it's about eye distance, I think. One point five. Yeah, pretty close eye distance. <clears throat> and then this comes down this side. And then we have his iris and pupil in there. And you can give him a shine in his eye. You got some eyelashes coming off his eye. Just here. And his bottom eyelid. That's all. He's got some sort of cheek marks just on his cheek there. And then his nose is very simple. It's just an upturned line like so. So his mouth is open. So just down here, curve it up. Go up like it's closed first, curve it down to there. And then his bottom lip just under there. 
like so. And his eyebrows, just up here, so real big bushy eyebrows. Like so. Maybe a frown line kind of there. And then another one. So they're pointy on the bottom and wider at the back, just there. So his fringe, so we've got hair coming up into here and he's got two spikes of hair coming down across his forehead. Kind of like if you've drawn many Dragon Ball characters, it's pretty much just like that. And his hairline just coming across here then. And then this comes down like so. So his ears then, so the top of his ears line up just with the eyebrow, the bottom of the eyebrow there. And then the bottom earlobe lines up with the nose, just here. The other one's the same. Just there. And we might have some hair then coming up like this. So the eyes when you're doing proportions, the eyes are halfway down the head from the skull, right? So where his bone of his skull is. So this up here, this is where the top of his head is, top of his skull, but his hair comes up, grows up off that. So that's why we're a bit higher up, okay? So we're just gonna bump this around, add, add some bumps for his hair, going all the way around. And then we add in some lines, texture lines for his hair, like so. Okay, now, so his torso, right? So just here, we have his torso coming in like so towards his waist. So he's got he's got a backpack on on this side, but we can just see his torso just coming in here. So say this is the shoulder here, and this comes up into his ear. So we've got this line for his backpack just here. So this comes down, bumps down, So, and so this is his waist. This is where his leg starts. And the other side of it's just here. Comes up like so. Underneath that backpack, just here, that line. Looks like a buckle for it. So that's the kind of shape for his waist. So his chest comes across here. And then the back of his uniform comes down here. So his legs are going to start in here. We, so if the long part of his uniform comes up into here, comes around along his leg, comes down into there, back in, back into there and back up. So this V section is the sort of, it's like a suit, you know, the, the end of a suit. It's kind of coming down along his leg. So 
So this is the kind of shape for his body we're looking for. So then he is, we'll do, we'll finish the details in here and then we'll do the arms and the legs. So he's got a strap for a backpack on just here. Two lines outside it. And the strap comes down longer into this buckle just here. And then this buckle goes in like so towards the bag. And the bag is like behind his arm, so we have to draw his arm first. So we'll leave that as that is. And then the other strap comes down this way. So this is his armpit just in here. And then we have the collar of his uniforms with those buttons on it. So we'll do the buttons just here. And then there's a button on this side. So it's a bit smaller, just there. And then the buttons that go down his uniform. So we want one right up here. One just here, here, here. So we're coming down this line, going this way. Then another one up there. And then some folds for his uniform. And you might have the color of his uniform coming in this way. Just coming around the back here and back up towards his neck and the lines up the middle, one or two of them. There's a fold coming in this way, like so. Another one coming in this way, that way, coming in that way. And this could be a fold as well. Line down the middle, but like in the drawing that I'm doing it from, so there's like a lot of dark shadows all over his body. You could draw them in or not. It's up to you. Gives it more of a dramatic look, I guess but uh, I'll leave them for the time being. I might do them at the end, just so you can see what I mean. So, right, his arms. So, this shoulder comes off here. Like that. This then comes out from his armpit, just here, like so. out to his elbow and then down like this and then the front side of his arm comes down like so and we have the wrist of his school uniform there it's got like a golden end or something on it there and then his hand comes back this way and then hooks around for his little finger just here. And then goes back across and then we add a couple of finger lines. Two, three, like so. So that's as much detail as that needs really. And then there could be some full lines on his clothing, just at his elbow, just here. Maybe coming down his shoulder. Like so. Now his other arm is more elevated. So we're just going to draw. So the line, I guess, for his bicep just here. Like so. And then the top of his shoulder comes down. They're kind of folding, bumping lines. Because there's a few folds for his clothes. So like one there, another one coming that way. And then this comes up to his elbow, down like so. <clears throat> this then curves around 
for where his wrist and fingers and stuff are. This curves up and around to there. And then we do a bumping line back here and a fold just for his forearm, just here. Now, so his other hand looks like he's kind of like playing the piano or something. His hand is like in the air like this. So we'll do the bumping lines just across the top. So we're going to go bump like that. So that's one, two, three. Let's come down lower now and four. So this is his index, curve it around. His middle finger, curve it around. Uh, his ring finger, <clears throat> curve it around like so. And his little finger comes down and into there. And they need nails. So we just go like that. Like so. And then his thumb just bends out this side, comes down around here, comes up, back in towards his hand, and we give him a thumbnail just there. Thumbnails are like bigger than the rest of your nails. And then the palm of his hand, two bumps just in there. So hands are tricky, so take your time with that. Right, so his leg, so come in this direction, the first leg, his leading leg, and then we do the other one that goes behind. So, coming out from here, we go straight out like that. Out to his knee and down, like so. So that means his hamstring is just there. And then this comes down. And he's got baggy trousers on, so they kind of fold in, bump around like this. And then they go around his ankle, just here. And then bump around his shoe, just down here. So we'll do the other leg before we deal with the shoes. There might be a fold line or two coming down his trousers, just here. Maybe one going up towards his knee. Like so. So the other leg is this way. So it starts just in here. And then it's going to come out like here. So it's going to come out here like this and the back. It's kind of bumpy and foldy, but we're going in this direction, same sort of direction, like that. So this curves in, and this goes in, and then we have another bump here. And we curve it around the top of his shoe, back up around his ankle, and back into there. And again, there might be a couple of fold lines on his clothes, like so. Right, so his shoes, so curves out here, curves back down. The heel of a shoe, just here. So you have two sections to a shoe, you have the upper and the lower. So. The upper part of the leather just curves around here, like that, and then you give him a heel just there, and then this curves around right down to there. And then we have the details on the 
top of his shoe. Like he doesn't have laces, they're slip-ons, so they're just simple sort of boxes like this. So then his other heel is raised off the ground. So that's the back. Then this is down here. And then this curves down. And around like so. And then we have the upper and the lower section. So that's this. that and then we bring up the top sole just to there one there one there two boom yeah and then his backpack so we can just see some lines back here we have a bump for a buckle or a strap this comes down around like so and comes back like a box underneath. Just there. And then two detail lines down here. And then one there. And curving. Up. And a couple more straps and buckles and things but people will get the basic idea if you draw that much okay there you go how to draw koichi pose hope was helpful tain thanks for watching guys if you have a request that you really need me to get to just log into patreon sign up and you can direct message me the image you even want me to draw um, if it's a request you really need me to get to quickly it's the quickest way to do it I get so many requests on YouTube so it's hard to see them all so sometimes I miss some but so if there's one you really need and you're willing to go to patreon um, if you can, of course, uh, please consider it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.